Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Wayne. It's another episode of Mofro's Reef. Today we got the something. It's uh, 90 gallons. It's 4 feet by 24 by 18 inches high. And the same guy that built my, uh, my display tank here built my sump. The only thing he wouldn't do would, was uh, cut the 7 inch holes for my filter socks. I really wanted to use 7 inch socks instead of 4 inch socks because I just don't like pulling things out and cleaning them every two days. So, And I go on a lot of extended long weekend vacations so I wanted something that would uh, you know, work for what I needed and uh, I think this is going to be it. And uh, I'll show you how I cut them holes out of that acrylic. That was probably the hardest part of my build so far. Honestly, I mean it wasn't hard. It was just uh, You know that little piece of acrylic was expensive and I didn't want to mess it up And I didn't know how to get the socks to sit in there properly, but I'll go over top of that got here is this will be a little chamber right here where my overflows are going to come down in here then it's going to overflow onto this ledge where there's two filter socks that are going to be sitting in each one of these then the water is going to come out under here and then this section right here this whole section right here is my skimmer skimmer section and any other equipment I want to put and then this section right here this section right here is going to be my uh, my refugium, which is 24 by 15. That should do be suffice. And I'm kind of thinking about maybe splitting it, like right here with the marine pure rocks, and then growing chato on this side, and just have like rubble rock on this side. My last sump, I went with the uh, the Fiji mud, and you know honestly, the only thing that happens with that is you get an inch of detritus on it in a month. So I'm going with the cleaner build here. And then I have my uh, little bubble chamber. Comes over and under, so this is how high the water level will be. Right here, which will be uh, 10 inches high. And then it goes under this one, it comes out underneath, and this will be my return section. And uh, everything that I made where my baffles are, I designed them for the gaps right here, so the water level will be up here. Um, is a half inch because I'm just going to put like big Asterina snails in here so they can't get from chamber to chamber. That's why I did that. Okay, now uh, let's go over how I came up with this. There's a program that actually I talked to another reefer about and uh, he told me he did his on SketchUp. So this is the program right here and uh, it's free to download, it's free to use as long as you don't use it for commercial businesses. 
and uh, it's really cool. You know, you got to watch a couple tutorials to get, learn how to move stuff around, but uh, you can see here, I mean, everything that I designed is right in here, and then I just dimensioned it, and then uh, gave it to the dude, he built it, and uh, we're happy. So, pretty cool program. If you're looking to design a sump instead of sketching it out on paper, kind of figure out how you want to do it, I mean, this will make it exactly, you know, exactly the exact dimensions you want. So the sump is in action here. I'm water testing this. A couple small issues I have that'll have to be fixed. Um, this baffle right here, the short one, was supposed to be three inches, and he made that two. So it's supposed to be up here, so the water goes underneath here and kind of doesn't flow over top. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Why would you have a baffle like that if you're gonna have water go over the top? But, uh, easy fix, easy fix. I'll probably just have him cut me a piece of glass and I'll put it in myself. And then uh, the other issue I think I'm gonna have here is when I des designed this, um, I didn't account for the acrylic being a half inch, but I should have did was lower this whole chamber about an inch so my water because my two uh, overflows are going to be sitting in here and this looks like water is kind of spilling over right here it's supposed to spill over here when the filter socks get clogged and that's how it gets over but it's definitely not supposed to be spilling over right here so I'll probably just take a small piece of one inch glass and cut it you know to about come to about right here and uh that should be suffice. But other than that, working just how it's supposed to. I'm digging it. I'll go over all my equipment here uh, in a couple days. I'm going to have a, what I'm using. I'm just waiting for a couple more things to get here in the mail. And uh, we'll go over everything else. But anyways, the sun. A couple little modifications and we will be uh, good to go. Alright, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.